right, they just going too far now. If you're riding two miles an hour so everybody sees you like Will Smith, you can still be pulled over by what? A fake cop and given fake arrest warrants. This is a fake arrest warrant scam. Look, on Thursday, Attorney General Daniel Cameron issued a consumer alert warning Kentuckians of scams related to fake arrest warrants. This is crazy. So um, in these schemes, scammers impersonate law enforcement in order to convince Kentuckians that they have an outstanding warrant for their arrest and must immediately make payment for fake fines. <laughs> Look, listen, guys. Hey, you got to be uh, using your common sense. I'll fight that dang on cop to the death in my Leonidas voice uh, before I pay him on the spot for something he ain't got no dang on proof on. Look, look, look. All right, well, I'm not telling you to attack law enforcement, sorry. <laughs> but listen, man, these dudes are like, they going crazy instead of getting a damn job. But I know the name of the channel is Anti-Job. I'm not about to impersonate law. I mean, if you that dead, man, go to a temp agency uh, or something like that. Arrest warrant scams are not new, but this type of fraud is on the rise in Kentucky. Kentuckians in all 120 counties should be on guard for scammers who impersonate law enforcement and demand payment <laughs> via gift cards or mobile payment apps. Report scams to uh, this link right here. I'll probably leave it below or you can find this article. Since January, the Attorney General's office has seen an increase in reports of arrest warrant scams and Kentuckians have reported losing over 41,000 to these scams. So the scary part is this. Um, what if it's a real law uh, you know, enforcement officer or something pulling you over and you just ignore his ass, you know what I'm saying? He's like, you already got scammed by this dude. So now um, you you end up like disobeying the law and you can end up shot or in jail or something like that. But you was just like thinking they were one of these warrant scam dudes and stuff. So I guess you got to use discernment, the spirit of discernment. In addition to these losses, the attorney general's office is aware of these increased reports of arrest, arrest warrant scams from agency agencies with whom the office collaborates on fraud prevention efforts. While fraudsters may seem to scam any Kentuckian, recent reports uh, showed an uptick in arrest warrant scams targeting workers in the medical community. Dang, so it sucks to be a doctor right now, or a nurse, or a medical billing uh, person, or, or, or a CNA, or one of those dudes. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I would change clothes as soon as I get off work, I would not be in my uniform anymore looking like I just got out of the emergency room because they got their little, uh, little microscopes or binoculars. I'm tripping. They got their little binoculars and they looking in your whip when you get off work and be like, okay, yeah, they got some money right there. I'm about to pull them over, yo. All right. So y'all got to be careful, man. Uh, there's people always watching you for real, for real. Scammers are spoofed. Uh, they use spoof numbers to impersonate members of the law enforcement to carry out these schemes. Okay, so it's not in the car. These callers, the callers tell potential victims of an alleged outstanding warrant for their arrest due to missing jury or a violation of a federal subpoena and then threaten arrest if payment isn't made immediately. Look, check this out. I've been threatened by that before and it wasn't a scam. And I'm going to tell you this, it was it was scary as hell how they was threatening you uh, with your freedom and all of that stuff to the point where you like, okay, where do I pay? You know what I'm saying? To avoid going the heck to jail. So I can understand how this could happen to somebody when you fight or flight and when you're in a, in a, in a heat of the night and you're scared as hell, you know what I'm saying? Somebody can take advantage of you like that. So these scammers usually demand payment through gift cards, mobile apps, often require victims to remain in contact with them until the payment is made. So they say, stay on the phone with me. All right. If you if this call disconnect, we're going to send two squad out, squad cars out there to knock you upside the head with a nightstick during the daytime. OK. All right. So uh, the scammer sell victims, they will be apprehended if they go to the police station before making a payment. Now, that's when I would have got super suspicious. I'm like, hold on. So I can't make a payment in person. You is on site for me is on site. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, though. You know, so that's when I would have been like, ah, nah, well, y'all just going to have to come get me. All right, so here's some tips to avoid becoming a victim of an arrest warrant. All right, you guys can read the rest of that on your own. I just wanted you to know what to look out for if you're in Kentucky, and I'm pretty sure this is going to spread to other countries, and I mean counties and cities, because negativity uh, spreads fast.